primer is a good starting point before you put on any kind of foundation because it helps to close up the pores. It creates a nice smooth palette to work with. The first step in applying makeup, we're going to start concealing. And we're looking for areas that need to be brought up to the surface, areas that are dark, maybe blemishes. The next step is a tiny bit of foundation because it is daytime. We don't want complete coverage. We still want her skin to show through. We want to see a little bit of her freckling and um, her natural pigment coming through. So we're going to use a foundation just slightly lighter than her natural skin tone. And we're going to stay in this T-zone area and just feather it out. Afterwards, we'll go through and we'll use some bronzer to darken it up a little bit and make it look more natural. But it's always nicer to look a little bit lighter in the T-zone and a little bit darker around the edges. All right, so now we're just gonna add a little bit of a loose powder to set the cream foundation. We're just gonna give Jessica a nice natural eye with um, a little bit of darkness in the crease, but nothing that you can really tell she has too much makeup on. Right now we're gonna start with a base color on the eye. It's very light. And it'll make that darker color we put on there pop. We used a flatter brush for that. It's still a little fluffy, but it is a little bit flatter and it covers the whole eyelid. Because I'm not zoning in on just one area, I'd like to cover a lot of area, so I, I prefer to use a bigger brush. Next, for the crease area, we're gonna be using this fluff brush. It's a little pointier, it's not as wide, because I do wanna concentrate on the crease of her eye, and as I go in there, it'll fluff it out so it gives a very blended look and not a harsh line. Next we're going to be lining the eye right underneath the lash line and using a cake liner that we are able to turn into an eyeliner just by adding water. I'm also going to be using this flat brush. It's a flat eyeliner brush and I'm taking the um, liquid the water and the cake liner and mixing the two together until it gets like a creamy base. Not too wet, not too dry. I don't want to create a line on the top of her eyelid because then it looks like she has eyeliner on. I just need a little bit of depth and darkness to her lash line. So what I'm going to do is just slightly lift up the lash line and go in there and just jiggle it a little bit. Okay, I'm going right, I'm lifting up her lid gently with my thumb and going right underneath her lash line and jiggling it a little bit. So what you're doing is you're getting that pigment right in between her lashes. There's no harsh line on the top of her eye. Once we've lined the inside of her lash line, we're gonna use that same cake liner and that same brush, and we're going to just paint her eyelashes. We don't want her to look like she's got cakey mascara on or too much mascara for daytime. We're just gonna slightly make her lashes a little bit darker. All right, during the day, you don't wanna make the eyebrows too dark, but you do need to fill them in if they're a little light or if they're off. And what I like to use is a little bit of powder on a small brush. It's a flatter brush as well. It's dry powder. And I like to just go in and fill it in just a little bit. Now, for a daytime look, I'm not going to do too much contouring. I'm just going to add a little pop of color to her cheeks and a gloss. Now for her lips, we're not going to line her lips. We're just going to add a little bit of gloss with a little bit of a pink pigment to it just to give her a little color.